Well, this year WTM has been very exciting for Trinidad and Tobago. It's been very energetic in our booth. We, um, we've had a lot of um, persons passing through, a lot of meetings. Um, as you know, the UK market is still one of our big markets, a big source market after the US. The UK is probably the biggest market. And um, hence the reason why we continue to come to WTM, we continue to have our stakeholders, our hoteliers, tour operators come out to this meeting. They come and they do business. They get new business, they reinforce some of the things already with um, other buyers on the market. So it's really a good marketplace for our um, people, more so in Tobago. And um, we will continue to have a presence here at World Travel Market. I, I notice quite a full Trinidad and Tobago stand, and it's not a really very small stand. It's, uh, do you have more people here this year? It's just the enthusiasm. Yeah, um, it's both. We have a lot of enthusiasm, but we also have more people. We have more stakeholders. We have about 30 plus stakeholders here this year. And um, they have come back because they, the experience they had over the years, they continue to get more business and therefore they come there. We have to keep a presence because if we're not here, if we're not visible, people don't know that we exist. And, and we always have the, the, um, the element of competition. If you're not here, people are looking for destinations, they're looking for place to go. Every other country in the world that wants to be on the tourism market, on the tourism map, is here in WTM. And therefore, we have to continue to be here if we want to be and continue to have an edge in tourism. Was that a deliberate decision to expand the number of stakeholders who are here? Why? Yes, um, it was a deliberate decision because we want the stakeholders to come and get business for themselves. So government is doing its part in terms of marketing and so on. But when our hoteliers and tour operators come out here, they go and they also, besides the appointments that they get before they come here, they also go out and they make new appointments. They do new calls. They go out to the buyers who are here. Yes, yeah, so hence the reason we have had um, a bigger presence this year. And I noticed quite some entertainment and very cultural in, in its approach this year as well. Yes, well, you know, we have to showcase what we have in Trinidad and Tobago, our culture, you know, our cuisine, our people. We are very energetic people and that's why you would see the energy, the calypso and um, our limbo, all the different aspects of our culture. You see a little bit of it every day. The steel pan, you would have seen the steel pan and heard steel pan yesterday. So all of this is here. You also have the, the perennials, the Brian Lara, Dwight York here as well. Yes, yeah, yeah we have um, uh, Brian Lara here, one of our sporting legends. Um, he continues to come every year. He draws a presence to our booth. We have also Dwight York, and Dwight is doing some good business for us. Um, I'm not going to disclose it as yet, but that is something that um, we're keeping undercover for now, and we're going to be announcing very shortly some um, business opportunities that Dwight is creating for us. And um, this is something that is going to excite the whole of the Caribbean when we announce it. So keep tuned to hear what that is later on. I'm going to have to ask, is it some sporting stuff? that has to do with Tobago? Well, it's sporting stuff and it has to do with Trinidad and Tobago, but we will be inviting the rest of the Caribbean and the UK market, all our markets. They're going to be very blown away with it. Something called stay and play. I'm not going to say exactly what it is yet. You're going to be hearing. We're going to be announcing by the end of the month. So it's not a very long time before you hear what it is. Tell us too, though, you've been having a lot of meetings yourself. Yeah. yeah. What are some of those? What have you been achieving through all of these meetings? Okay, well, we've met with um, some of the travel groups. Um, we've met with um, some of the uh, um, digital media now. You know, everything now is digital. People book with travel agents still. So we meet, we've um, had meetings with travel agents exposing, selling our goods to them. We've also had the meetings with um, 
with some of the airlines um, that fly into the Caribbean. We have meetings with some of the perspectives that we want to fly into the Caribbean. So it's all about marketing, bringing people, bringing the airlift into our shores and um, getting them to come and see what we have to offer and bringing more and more tourists into Trinidad and Tobago. And what are some of the exciting events and news that you share with those who are asking? Right. So, well, of course, you know, over Christmas in Trinidad and Tobago, we always have something going on. It's an event-oriented society. So, um, you know, we just finished our two festivals, um, Eid and Diwali. Right now we have the Parang, which is the Spanish music. So we have Parang all throughout the country leading up to Christmas. And just as Christmas finished, you know, we have our carnival. And after carnival, we're going to be announcing some new events. We have the jazz in Tobago. We have other events coming up in Trinidad. So throughout the year, the calendar of events is fresh, it's exciting, it's always something happening.